Welcome artists, this is a Patreon inspired video. I got a lot of requests on doing a video on negative painting and we can truly learn to see the positive and the negative while we draw or while we paint and it is a huge advantage to growing as an artist. Many of us remember the typical, is it a vase or is it two faces example. And I did my own little rendition of this. And the wonderful thing is that negative painting or drawing works across various types of subject matter, whether it be animals, such as this rabbit that I'll do a quick little demonstration on, or it actually works the same for flowers and foliage, as in this leaf that again, I did another quick little example. And then ultimately for more complicated subject matter, such as landscapes, we talk about negative painting a lot when we're carving out trees or clouds and working from big shapes down to small shapes. So join me in this lesson where I will reveal, hopefully, and unlock the secrets of negative painting and how it can help you grow as an artist. Now, if you are seeing this video on the Monet Cafe YouTube channel, you will be seeing the basic version, which has lots of great content on the concepts of negative painting. But for the full version, I'm offering that for those who become my patrons on my Patreon page. It's only $5 a month. You can cancel at any time. And there's the link above. There'll also be a clickable link at the end of this video. All right, let's get started. I really had a fun time with this lesson. And I, again, did the typical, uh, many of you probably remember this example. Is it a vase in the middle or is it two faces uh, of profiles, images of faces facing each other? And it's just a very basic and simple example to show what is the positive and what is the negative. And it really all depends in this example on what you're focusing on. And that's the point of this lesson is we can train our brains to see the negative shapes as we draw or paint uh, by what we focus on. We are primarily geared and kind of pre-programmed, I guess, to see the positive shapes. We're looking for the things, I guess, that are material in our world instead of the spaces. And if we can learn to see the spaces, it's going to enhance our overall compositions, drawing capabilities, and our painting effectiveness as we grow as artists. Now, that was a very basic example, but the same concept and principle works on more complicated uh, subject matter. For example, this rabbit, I chose something like this because it's got the same idea. It's got kind of a large positive shape in the middle, and it has some negative spacing around the perimeter, around the edges. Now what I did, and I, I advise you to practice this, find an image yourself that is, for my patrons, I will include this image for you, um, to find an image that is kind of like a big main shape with negative space around it. Now here's a, a tip. Try to, uh, as you practice these to get better at this, try to pick an image make it a standard size or a size like an eight by 10 or five by seven and have your drawing surface the same size. Um, I mean, proportionally, I, I have a five by seven on my um, computer screen or my iPad screen here. And it may not, it's a five by seven in theory, in proportion. Uh, it wouldn't be if I measured it with my ruler, but my paper, I did do a five by seven. So they are proportionately the same. That means my negative spaces and my positive spaces will be the same. It makes it a little bit easier for composition and drawing when you have the same proportions like that. So all I'm doing now is I'm looking at now I'm, I'm carving in the dark shapes. And I love the word carving as an artist when we're doing paintings because we're usually working with broader strokes rather than line as in drawing or sketching. And I like both. I like painting and sketching. But when you carve in the negative spaces, you, you learn to see that negative shape and how it correlates or relates to the positive shape, which I'm drawing in now, kind of sketching it in. And I do advise, as uh, we talk about as often, often as artists, uh, working large to small. So when you sketch something in, uh, even before you start a painting, your preliminary sketch, your outline, if you're doing one, it needs to be very simple, basic, and editable, How do, that's a hard word to say, be able to edit it as you work. 
I actually think those sketchy lines, you know, when you just kind of, um, you're, you're kind of working the overall uh, image, I think they add to the painterly effect. You know, for example, I didn't go in here and start just drawing harsh lines for this little rabbit immediately. I got in a big overall, uh, the fundamental shape, and that's really point one that I write down after this. We're first working on the fundamental shape. That was that big kind of middle shape of that rabbit. I kind of looked at the V between his ears. I looked at the negative spacing on the left side of him and on the right side of him. And I just first worked that fundamental shape before I got into the, the more specifics. Now, as I drew his face, I was still working on positive versus negative spacing. At, when I get to the landscape example, that one is going to be in real time. So for my patrons will receive the full version uh, on, on my Patreon page. Um, we'll receive the full version of this with the real-time footage of the landscape painting. So all of these things apply for um, whatever subject matter you're working on. Actually, I think it's the leaf example that I do next. So again, I, I've done this. I was not good at this when I first started drawing. I tried to, I, I remember I would just see the positive shape and not compare positive and negative as I was working. It is huge in getting better with your drawing and painting skills. And uh, it's, it's nothing that's uh, all that hard to do. You just have to practice it. So I encourage with this lesson to practice these things. Um, sometimes we just wanna start painting and, and we go for it and we forget a lot of these things are practice, 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 and it really does help. All right, there's my cute little bunny. And now, as I was saying, we are looking for fundamental shapes. As I paint, I talk about this all the time. Big shapes, what is the shape, not what are the details. In this case, I'm doing a leaf that I'm looking at the shape and I can see it looks like an upside down heart. So instead of trying to draw in all of those little spaces in between, I'm getting in the fundamental shape. And now this work, now I'm using dark, uh, on the example, on the photograph, White is the negative spacing. I'm, I already have the white paper, so I'm carving in with dark so that I'm making the negative spaces a dark color instead of the white of the paper. So you can see how the carving uh, works. But again, I talk a lot in uh, while I'm doing my painting process on how we're just looking at those big fundamental shapes. We're not trying to draw in any details. And then we kind of carve in as we go. And you know, that's a thing. I'm uh, sorry for my crazy hair. I was literally doing this after doing yard work and oh, too many other chores to mention. But as I was saying, a lot of times, many questions I get is how do I get that painterly style? And I really believe that doing the fundamental shapes and doing this technique of positive and negative and um, kind of working your way from the ground floor up to the final painting um, rather than getting so specific early on is a huge way to have a painterly ending result to your painting. So you're working big to small. It's like you're, you're carving down into the final painting. So what that does is it causes you to not get so caught up on the fine details too quickly. All right, now this is the point where I am providing the real-time content for my patrons on my Patreon page. But Monet Cafe viewers, don't worry, there was plenty of free content for you guys to practice on those things. Uh, but from here forward, I will be going to a little bit more complicated subject matter, which is a landscape, which I know we love to do. And Monet Cafe, you'll be able to see this footage sped up, uh, but my patrons will get my actual commentary on this while I'm painting. All right, guys, enjoy. I hope you're learning a lot and practice, practice, practice. It really does make you better artists.
I hope that was a beneficial lesson on the value and the advantages of learning to see positive and negative at the same time and work with big shapes and seeing our negative shapes. So practice, practice, practice. And if you're in my Patreon group, please share your final results if you try any of these to our Patreon exclusive group on Facebook, Susan Jenkins Patreon group. Otherwise, join our group on Facebook, Monet Cafe Art Group. All right, artists, make it a blessed day. And as always, happy painting.